HBOG Duffy, Thursdays are the new Fridays. I'm in Asda stocking up on my beer supplies, guys, because I've run out and uh, just finished work. Little OG's joined me. Where is the man? Say hi to the guys. Hi, guys. What are you having? Oh, he's, he's, he's in two minds. Does he have cider or does he have vodka? Sure. Oh, he's gone for a little voddy, a little one. But do I have the Ionies or do I have the Stellas? Go and check out one the kiosk. Thank you. Get yourself to the kiosk. <laughs> Cases of Stella. 18 cans for 15 notes. Don't mind if I do. Little OG was saying how good that flavour is. Tropical cider. Don't know if it works, you know. I've not tried it. Couple of burg. Old moot. Grab me a four pack. <laughs> Please. Hurry up. <laughs> Dear me. Thank you very much. What else are you having? What's that? Lemon hooch. Lemon hooch. That'll do. Vodka, four cans. Oh, hooch. <laughs> You live in some. Oh yeah. What mixer you got for your vodka? I've got the original slush puppy fizzy blue raspberry. It's wrong, son. <laughs> it's just wrong on all levels. Yeah. Hmm. Back to the beer aisle for me for something a bit different. But what to have? Got the IPAs here. Usually quite strong. Hmm. Just got in with the beer shopping, guys, and look, Mrs. OG's lit the fire. And I'll tell you what, it's much needed tonight. It's lovely and cold out there, but you come in here and you're greeted with that. Cool, it's lovely heat. You've got a little fan on top pumping out the heat for me from the fire. One word, really. Well, two. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and West Ham on telly tonight. <laughs> Luna! Oh, hello, Luna. You being a good girl? Yeah? Good to have your dad home. You watch football with me? <laughs> oh, yes. Football finished, guys. West Ham won. Literally, weren't far to go. It was nearly nil-nil, to be honest. It was nearly a draw, but they pulled through away from home. Not the greatest game in the world. They played a sort of a... Um, a, a lot of sort of sub team but you know what it's a win isn't it a win's a win in Europe happy days anyway guys first days on a new Fridays <laughs> especially tonight Friday morning guys just arrived at work it's snowing I don't think the camera's picking it up but it's that sort of wet snow so it's not going to do anything you know what I mean as you can see there look I can see it a bit more better there I think but anyway it's uh, something a bit different it's melting as soon as it's hitting the ground I was getting a few flakes on my coat there, as you can see. But anyway, guys, you know what? See you the weekend. And it's beginning to look a bit like Christmas. Oh, yes. Happy days. Just home from work. It's uh, it's mid-afternoon, guys. A bit of an earlier finish on a Friday. Um, so I've come out, I've done myself a bacon sandwich. Now, check out my bacon. Done it in the air fryer and look at it lovely and crisp. Got to have nice crisp old bacon, guys. So that's going to be my lunch. And then I might go and watch uh, Ahsoka on TV because I think I'm on the last episode, that Star Wars thing. And then uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings, eh? Dropped little OG off down the town to snuck in at a quick pint. And look at this in the pub a Grinch wall of blooms. That's really good, isn't it? I really like that. Friday evening, popped out at a quick pint because I had to drop um, little OG down the town. He's meeting some mates tonight for an Indian and a few uh, pints out. He ain't been out with the lads for a while, so that'd be quite good. Um, and I'm going to play a bit of Cold War, uh, COD. I'll be honest, I would get out in the games room, but feeling a little bit snotty. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm not coming down with anything. I don't want a cold. Uh, hopefully I'll wake up in the morning and I'll be fine. Because it's the weekend after all. Anyway, let's go see how bad at COD I can do. The Nuketown map. Nuketown 84. Bit of kill confirmed. I'll be honest, I love playing this online, right? 
But I have to admit, I'm not that great here. I, I'm, I'm average at best. But if I put me on any other COD online especially, and I'm really, really, really bad. Anyway, let's get this game underway. So Call of Duty, guys, are you any good at this online? Or are us older gamers just rough because of the um, because of our age? And these youngsters, skip their, their reaction times are a lot better than us. I'm not shooting, so I'm shooting with camera. Okay, so uh, drop in the comments. Do you still play COD? And, uh, or, or have you outgrown it now? Let me know in the comments. My team won, but I didn't get the best play or anything. But I tell you what, still such an enjoyable game. I think so, anyway. Uh, I've not bothered upgrading. I've stuck to this one, the World at War. Is it World War? World War, I think. Yeah. Cold War. Cold War. Still very enjoyable. So what are you playing lately, guys? What old games have you got on the go? Let me know in the comments. Saturday morning, people. Now, we were in two minds what to do today. I gave uh, Mrs. OG two options yesterday. And the options were, one, come to Medway, where there's a pinball place. You pay a tenner, and all the tables are set to free play. That opens at 12. It closes at 6. Then the other option was, there's a Christmas parade Dickens show fair thing at Rochester in Kent, the historic city there, uh, and that gets mentally busy. And I said, we could go there, jump on the train, go there, it's not far. Uh, I've just got to let my cat lay her in, because the idiot is deciding to go outside in this extreme cold. Come on in, idiot. <clears throat> Come on, it's too cold out there. Go and get a treat off your mum, go on. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. There she goes. Look, the rattle of the treat bag. She's gone. So anyway, where was I? Yes, so Dickens show, but that's not till late afternoon, early evening. But I just come down from having a shower and look. Them dreaded Christmas lights have appeared down here, which tells me only one thing. Mrs. OG's just said, we're going to go and put the Christmas lights up outside. Hmm. So I think that scuppers my plan for Medway Pimble, don't you guys? No. Yeah, what do you mean? No. Because we can it won't take long. Won't we do take long, yeah, we do right. Every year. Yeah, you if you know, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go and crack on with the outside lights. Then we'll go out. Then we'll go out. Where are we going? I haven't made up my mind yet. Yeah. Oh God, don't cut the lights. Operation Christmas lights has turned into Operation Bush removal. Yes. Now 20 to two, the Christmas lights are done outside. But I'll be honest, I've just said to Nick, let's just get the house straight and let's just Get the indoor Christmas decorations up as well because everything's out in my games room at the moment and that way we can get it shifted and I can get back out in my games room. Might nip out for a pint later though because I'd avert it by then. So we're having a day indoors today, doing day, getting the house decorated for Christmas. But I now need a bit of lunch. So a bacon sandwich and a nice cup of coffee. Oh yes. Lunchtime snack people, look at that. A beautiful bacon sandwich. Again, second lunchtime on a turn. It is the weekend after all. And a nice cup of coffee. Not had a point yet, guys. You all right, Nick? <laughs> what are you doing now? New Christmas tree. We'd normally put it in the other corner of the room, but we're putting it in this corner this year. Got a nice big space there, because we've got a new sofa back in the summer. So it's changed the outlook of the room. So we're going to get that up. This is the new tree from home. It weighs a lot, a lot, this guy. So I'm going to have to go and give her a hand now. How are you getting on, Nick? <laughs> yeah, we're bunching them all out, all the, the branches. There's a lot of work to do in putting up a Christmas tree. I didn't realise. And there she is. Look, she's right amongst it. She says the ones I did weren't very good so she's having to redo it. So I've said I will assist in putting the next section in but when it comes to bunching it all out, I think you're the best person, Nick. What do you reckon? Tree is up. It spent about an hour just sprucing all the branches out. It took a while. But Leia has just come in and she is headed straight in there. Oh, that looks better, yeah. So as you can see, it come with the lights built into it. 
nice. Yeah, so we don't think we need to add any more to no, that tree. It's quite big. It's quite a big tree. But Leia is, is Leia's just coming from outside and there she is, look. She's oh, quite intrigued. Are you chewing my tree? Oi! Come on. <laughs> Get out of there. Oi! It's not an eat it. Oh, Nick's playing with the settings. She's chewing something. Leia. Listen. Come out of there, you monkey. I'll tell you what, Luna's going to be the one to watch with this. Oh, no, oh dear. The tree is completed, guys. And the angel is on the top. Well done, me and Nick. <laughs> Josh didn't help. He was uh, preoccupied doing television type things. There we go. I'm um, just going to take a look at the outside lights. Lit up. Lights all done, guys. There they are. The bush is done. And the lights I put up earlier there. Very nice. And listen. I can hear Santa coming. Santa's just both. <laughs> just. Santa's just gone down that street down there. Let's see if we can see him for you guys. Not for me, of course, it's for you, you know? Now, due to uh, copyright infringement of music, etc., I've had to overdub this section, but uh, hey, Santa says hi, guys. So, Nick. Yes. We've bought this drink here. We're not going out to, to look at some Christmas lights now. Oh, We're staying in. in. My it's, glass is twice. It's because you, you drink more than I me. I don't know. She does. No, I don't. Doesn't. I bought this liqueur. What is it? Coffee Martino Espresso. espresso. Coffee Espresso Martini. Yeah. And I have to say, I love strong coffee and this smells delightful. Go on, have a slip. It's... That. She normally goes, Ooh, but no. no. That okay. is very, oh, I can feel it warming up. It's going all the way down. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh. Guys, this is Asda's own. It's extra special. <clears throat> oh, that is, that's good. That's lovely. Cheers. <laughs> well, Mrs. OG's downstairs watching Strictly and then that jungle stuff i'm bored of that jungle thing already guys i don't know about you so i've come up doing a bit of pc gaming with a few beers of course uh yeah didn't do a lot today but what we didn't do was a very productive day it was good actually because we got all them outside lights done uh very pleased about that uh, we've got the inside tree and that up oh got some Hasbo tokens <laughs> to use on Risk. I'm going to play some Risk online, a bit of online gaming, and uh, get out to the games room tomorrow, guys, and maybe creep off somewhere as well. What to do, what to do. The world's my oyster. <laughs> or my lobster, <laughs> whichever you prefer. Just waiting for one more player. Oh, he joined and he dropped out. The one thing with this, guys, if you want to play Risk, it's free to play, all right? And you get the... Uh, you don't wait long for an online game. It works very well. So there's me representing the UK. We've got someone from France, someone from Cyprus, and someone from New Zealand. Let's see how well I can do, guys. Now I find the key to this game is not to stretch yourself too far. So I'm the Reds. Uh, so take a territory and then pull back, end your game, so end, end your turn, so to speak, uh, and build your armies up, um, big armies. People don't want to attack you then. Uh, and don't go for a continent too early. It makes you very vulnerable, people. But hey, any other tips, any other risk players out there? Let me know your thoughts. Now, the map is starting to be very interesting because I own this continent here, which is North America, which is very good. Gets me an extra five armies per turn. They've got a continent there in South America, not as powerful. I think you get three extra armies. This guy here has got Europe, which again, I think is another five. Uh, and this guy down here. So the most powerful players at the moment are looking like purple, green, grey and myself. We're all fairly even because we've now all got a continent. So it's going to be an interesting game. It's, it's panning out very well at the moment. Now this has probably been one of the best games of Risk online I have played in an absolute age. 
Um, Green has come from nowhere. I mean, he was literally holding out over there in South America. And look, look, he's taken over quite a few continents now. One massive battle, and, and that's what happened. And, uh, mate, oh, how the tides of war can change. I was quite powerful, but now I think I've had my day, guys. I think I've got one more turn in me. This game is still going on. It's probably the longest game of online risk I've ever had. I keep coming back, guys. I'm, I'm red, but I'm... Oh, I might be red, but I ain't dead. This is going on and on and on. Well, the game has come to an end, and in the end, I've been defeated. But I'll tell you what, at one point, considering I looked like I was coming third in that game, I actually ended up second. So I did all right. It was a long, long game, though. So anyway, any of you guys play Risk online? If so, drop in the comments, please. Any tips, advice you have. I love this as a board game, but online, it's absolutely superb, and it's free to play, guys. Well, I feel a lot better about that game. The game's just ended, and uh, the guy who beat me is an expert player. He's on expert level, so he's obviously very, very good. But I gave him a good run for his money, mate. So for a novice, I did all right. Good morning, people. It's Sunday morning. Uh, up. We're going to nip down the town and go have a quick mooch about. I'm going to go into CEX and look for a PS4 game, okay? I know they won't have space alt tactics. Still on the lookout for that one, but it will come my way. Uh, I'll grab a quick look around a couple of charity shops, quick bit of shopping in the supermarket. So I need some more beer, and then we've got to be home for two o'clock because West Ham are playing Crystal Palace today. Oh, yes, most of my family support Palace, and I'm a West Ham supporter, so you can imagine that's quite a crunch game for us. Weather's pretty atrocious today. Quite glad we didn't go to that um, Rochester Dickens. Um, Christmas festival thing yesterday, 60,000 people turned up. Yes, 60k, mate. And if me and little Mrs. OG had gone there, it would have been 60,002. So it's a good job we didn't go. Um, it's raining, it's a bit nasty, it's horrible weather today. But I'm going to get a pint while I'm down at town as well. Then out in the games room this evening, guys. Oh, yes. Happy days. And then when I come back as well this afternoon after the football, uh, I've got some planning to do for a new video style of, of subject matter we'll be covering. Oh, yes, indeed. So, rock and roll, watch this space. Last case of Stella there. <laughs> what a state, eh? I did not buy it, <laughs> obviously. So I went for the Stella unfiltered. And here, guys, a bit of evidence for you. Just to prove I don't always buy just beer. But there's milk and Coca-Cola there, too. Shopping all done, people. It's still raining. Got Mrs. OG, look, a couple of tubs of them sweets, a couple of cases of Coke for her, and a couple of unfiltered Stella for myself. And today's dinner is in the reflective bag. Getting it all nice and chilled. I left Nick, Nick in the car. As I said, there's no point, us both getting wet sweetness. <laughs> she can drive me home after a few beers. <laughs> I've got this sussed. Shopping done. Got my beers, got my dinner for today. Now, in the town, having a quick look down, W.H. Smith. Always has that pencil smell about it, doesn't it? it smells of pencils. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, then I'm going to go to CEX PS4 game. Quick walk to the local CEX. I did take a look at the Wii U games in here as well, but as I said earlier, I'm just here for the PS4 today. Treat myself to a PS4 game. Might not just be a PS4 game I'll pick up, I might just treat myself as well to a PS3 tile, which I'll be showing you uh, towards the end of the video, guys, when I get back from uh, my shenanigans. Um, PS4 games, right, to be honest, there's something I've not really looked at too, too much, really. As you know, I'm after that Space Hulk tactics. It's not an expensive title. It's just one I keep my eye out for. I really fancy giving that a play. Dishonored there. Played that on the PS3 recently. Absolutely raved about that game, I did. It was great, great fun, honest. Really, really good game. I uh, don't know graphically how much better it'll be on the PS4 compared to the PS3, because to me, the PS3 version looks looks handsome. It looks bloody good, guys. So, you know, I, I, I don't underestimate that PS3, as you know. Um, Just Cause there. A few others as well. Kingdom Hearts, look. Killzone Shadow Fall £2.50. Now, are these PS4 titles like that, the £2.50 games, are they going to go up or continue to go down? 
Give me your thoughts. And this here, a steelbook edition of Red Dead Redemption 2, is £15. What's the normal version to buy is also £15. Is this the case with all steelbooks? Drop in the comments. And then, of course, time for a beer. Or a hot chocolate for Mrs. OG. She was very impressed with that Christmas tree dust in there. And a pint of Stella for me, guys. Because, hey, you know what? Yes, you do. It would be rude <laughs> not to. Oh, yes, it would. Just back from town, people. It's literally 10 to 2. So the football's about to kick off. And it's just lit the tree. Like, put the tree on, plug that in. Yeah, because we spent the SD doing that. So a few beers. Going to watch the Mighty Hammers. Uh, well, it's a dodgy game, this one, against the Palace. Because as I said earlier, all my family are Palace supporters. I was the black sheep of the family. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I end up in happy hammer today. Cheers, guys. Happy Sunday. Oh, yes. Oh, I've got some games in CX as well. I'll show you them shortly. But uh, first things first, football. Half time in the football, guys, and uh, while I've been watching the football and consuming some beers, Mrs. OG's been busy. Let's go take a look at what she's been up to. I see a lot of colours going on. There's a lot of felt tip pet. Are these felt? What are they? Watercolour um, pens. Watercolour pens. Anyway, what are you doing? What's to the point? Christmas ball balls. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And what are these for? Like cards or something? Yeah. Ah, cool. So what's the plan now? So you draw that on. It's only rough. Oh, I like the brush tip on them pens. That's pretty sexy, isn't it? Hence the name brush pens. Ah, I'm not artistic, mate. I'm an artist, but so not see. of that form. Right. I meant to do this with watercolour paint. This is not my idea. I've seen this right. on the internet. But um, you do this with watercolour right. paints. But mine are in the loft. So, we'll come back, we'll see how well you get on. Well done. Thanks. It ended up one all. I think we let a very weak go in, but hey ho, it is what it is, so to speak. My old man would have been happy with that result. Anyway, can't win them all, can you? <laughs> Rest of Sunday to get to. So, Nick, how's it going? We've had the West Ham game on. You've done these, your ball balls. They're getting there, aren't they? Yeah. So what's the idea behind this? Well, I need to condense them down a bit. Oh, so you can do some... Are they like for card fronts or something? Yeah. So you can do some original card fronts yeah. artwork. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Look forward to seeing how they turn out. I'll leave her for a couple of minutes and I'll come back and look, she's been busy as... She's making a little production line. Needs for little cards she's making. It's quite nice, isn't it? You get a handmade sort of card or something, isn't it? What do you reckon, Nick? Is that your thought behind it? Or what is, what's, what's, well, what are you thinking? So. Well, yeah, I hope people appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. Anyway, guys, news. He's in the new video format, and it's not really anything original. It's nothing to get too excited about. It's not going to drop weekly or anything like that. I don't really know a lot how it's going to work just yet, to be fair. But what it is, Nicolette, bless her, she's always nicknamed me Mr. Trebus. Him of the fame from the ITV show, or BBC show, of the, the guys that used to just... <laughs> hoarders, I suppose, it collect a lot of stuff now i've collected a lot of stuff over the years and i've realized i've got cupboards full of this stuff right and i've collected it over the years and i've always thought to myself do you know what yeah yeah it'd be worth some money that will be blah 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 so you know what it's come to christmas and i'm going to start to sell a few bits to get my wii u collection finished so i'm going to be doing a separate video uh, going through and finding stuff to sell on ebay at a decent profit, one would hope, because I've had this stuff for a good few years, and it's just sitting in cupboards, so, hey, let's just set it on, you know, so I'm going to go and have a dig out now, and uh, find a few items, and uh, I think this might be a bit of a reoccurring video theme, you know, on the channel, but like I say, it won't be a weekly thing, might not even be full night, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to work. Sunday night, guys, and I find myself out in the games room, having a beer. Or two. Oh yes. Now uh, I'm going to play some arcade games that have been suggested by you, and also we're going to do the arcade game of the week 
uh, we're on R this week. So for that, remember, I, I play an arcade game that I've not played before, beginning with R. It's one I, I can't have played, but I like the sound of. I mean, we got R type. I love R type. Great game, but obviously I can't play it because I know it. <laughs> what other games have we got beginning with R? Blimey, there must be Rygar. Uh, oh, 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 come on, I bet you're all shouting them out to me, ain't you? Anyway, guys, but Retro Red Steve, who watches this channel, has suggested two games for me to play on the, um, on the, on the shoot-em-ups. I think they're both shoot-em-ups. We're about to find out. One is, uh, but, 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 but what's he said here? Here we go. Outzone, uh, Outzone, sorry, Outzone, and Exerion, Exerion. I'm not sure on Exerion. Is that a really old sort of style shooter? And Outzone, I was just thinking about Outrun, you know, but it's not, it's not. Uh, so let's go give them a try. So Retro Red Steve, thank you for the suggestions. And if you guys are watching, you've got a suggestion, drop it in the comments. Retro Red Steve, he's been watching his channel for a long, long time. He's got a YouTube channel himself, so do check him out. The links are there, it's worth a look. Uh, right, okay, we're doing out zone first. Uh, there's uh, Toe Plan 1990, so a bit of a later uh, um, a game. Right, okay, look at that, very sharp graphics. So uh, let's give this one a play. Are you ready? Destroy all of them, good luck. Nice sharp graphics, guys, very colourful, good sound. Let's right, shoot. That's uh, my, my mega power, okay. What? Steve, have you set me up on this, buddy? Blimey, this is hard as nails. What's he playing at? Oh, my God. This is tough, mate. This is my warm-up game, all right? I'm using my extra special move because, hey, why not? Oh, my God. A bit slow down in the game there, actually. God, blimey. Oh! Oof. Once you get that power up, it does get a little easier. But I think it's all come a little bit too little, too late for me. Right, that's our zone. We'll give it another game, Steve. But my God, that is a tough, tough game, matey. Are you want to wind up with me or what? <laughs> right, come on. I've got to, oh, it's continued. Come on, grab that. Oh, my God. Oh, good God, Steve. Honest, mate. This is stressful. Get that. Oh, my God, I need it. Oh, good God, mate. Oh, what? Oh. I'm using those specials far too quick, to be fair. Oh, good God, mate. I don't know how to make it out one, Steve, to be fair. Retro Red Steve, what were you thinking? Out zone graphically looked amazing, sounded great, but you're just punishing me now, fella. Or what? Good God, that's as hard as nails. There's hard video games, and then there's just stupidly hard video games. Tell you what, if I was back in the day in the arcade, right, after one ten pence credit on that, I'd have walked well away, mate. There's no value for money in that one. Uh, what was the other one you suggested? Exerion or something? Was it? Let's have a look. Uh, EX. Uh, Exerion, Exerion. Let's go and check that one out now, Steve. Hopefully, it's better than that one, matey. Right, okay, back to Retro Red Steve Exerion. Let's see if I can find that one. It's another one that I'm not aware of. But I just hope, Steve, for your sake, it's better than that last one, son. That last game looked great, played nice, but my God, it was hard as nails. Or have I drunk too many beers this afternoon? Oh, something has, mate, I tell you what. But what I say, I would not have given that much playing an arcade on this, Gov. It's, <laughs> it's, come on, E, E, X, Exerion, Exterminator, Exet, Exerion, there it is. Right, okay, let's take a look at this. 
Now, we, oh, 1983 is a very early game. Uh, Jellico 1983, okay, one player, yep. Yeah. Okay, it's trying a bit of a 3D uh, effect. Oh, I've oh, got two fires. Got that one, which is sort of a regular fire. And you got that one, which is like a twin missile fire. Oof, it's another toughie, Steve, isn't it? <laughs> Be on one if you like me, mate. <laughs> He's actually, he collects a lot of Sega Master System stuff. So he's a, uh, yeah, oh. Yeah, sorry, yeah, so Steve, he collects a bit of Master System. And he loves Wonder Boy, mate. He's a big Wonder Boy fan. Um, this one plays, well, I'll get more from me back on this one than I did the last one, Steve, to be absolutely honest. But, hey, I'm no bloody good at it. Game over. No, no, good God. So I'm going to have one more play at this one as well, just so I can compare the two, but. I haven't got the hang of them two player buttons. Uh, the, so one button does... Oh, good God, mate. What are you doing with me, yeah? I'm beginning to question myself here. Way did some. Oh, for God's sake. You steer that way and it takes so long to come back round the other way. If that makes sense. Oh, here they come. Oh, for God's sake, mate. Game over. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I don't know what to say, Steve. Well, Retro Red Steve, I'm not sure what to say to you on them ones, mate. My God. Out of Zone. If I had to play them both again, I think I'd stick with Out of Zone simply because it looked better. The graphics were pretty good on it. Quite impressive. But Exirion, and they're both hard as nail games. You're telling me you actually play them games for fun? Mate, when the game's that hard, I don't bother, get, mate. I'll just move on. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing. Too many games, not enough time. <laughs> anyway, let's get to my arcade game of the week. The letter R. Hmm, that's what we come up with. Arcade game of the week, beginning with R. It's a game I've not played before, but I just like the title of R Shark. I'm not sure of that one, actually. No, R Type, we all know R Type. I absolutely love R Type and the follow ons equally. Uh, Rack and Roll, Rad Mobile, Radar Scope, don't know that one. Raphalesia. Lots of choices on this one. Raiden. I've heard of Raiden. I can't remember it. Is it Schumer? Rainbow Islands, we all know that one. Rambo. Rally X. Oh, I love Rally X. A Rampage. Great game. Rapid Hero. Rastan. Rastan and Rastan Saga, as we know it here in the West. Uh, blimey, there's loads on for R, isn't there? Repulse. Rescue. I'll tell you what, let's just pick one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, what's that one? Riddle. Riddle of Pythagoras. Japan. That sounds like my brain is aching without even starting. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Riot. Here we go. Let's have a riot. Uh, 19... Oh, okay. 1992. So a fairly modern game in relation to arcade releases. Anyway, guys. Uh, uh, boot up screens. Taking a while. A bit of testing going on there. Which is always a good sign. That tells me it's going to be quite a, a good game. Oh, what's this? Is this like a Vietnam-y type thing? Right, okay. Uh, something riot. It's in j j j Japanese, obviously. NMK. Secret warriors armed with special weapons and sorcery. With magic tigers. Okay, that makes perfect sense. That's it, so You don't see that now, look. Smoking a cigarette. How cool is he? <laughs> That's when smoking was cool, kids. Don't do it. It's bad for your health. It screws you up. Right, we're on. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, hang about. Right, get your... This is a bit like cave... Cable? Cave out? Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm... That's Robocop, look. It's Robocop, isn't it? Sorry, I was... Robocop's been skewered. How am I meant to get them ones behind me? In a nutshell, you can't. 
it's, you can roll and you can shoot, and that is it. And once you start shooting, your roll becomes inactive, so. Maybe it needed a rollerball to play it properly, I don't know. Anyone know anything about this game, guys? And why is Robocop in it? Yes. It's a strange one. It's a strange one, guys. I don't like these guys coming in behind you. I think they're, that's a nasty measure, that is. What's that all about? You can't get them. So flip. Oh, there is a flip button. I can shoot behind me. Oh, clever move. Clever move. Right. Okay. So it's three buttons. There's roll, shoot, and shoot behind you. Flip. We we'll call it flip. Oh my God. What? Are that? Oh, I tell you, that's a hard game. What am I doing to myself this week? Quick play on that one again. Flip. Oh, do you know what? I can't be bothered with that. That's hard going, that is. What's that one called again? Let's flip out so you can all avoid it. Riot. Riot. It's a new one on me, 1992. Graphically, it looked great. I'm sure it was great if you had, like, a, a gun, maybe. You know what I mean? A, a mounted gun or something in, like, Op or, uh, Operation Wolf style or something. But no, mate. That was hard as nails with a joystick anyway. And Stevie Robbo mentioned this game a good few weeks ago and I asked him to rename, I'd forgotten who suggested it. So I didn't want to play it until I knew who, who suggested it. And anyway, come back to me. So it's Stevie Robbo and it is Mooncrester, okay? It's a give it a play, OG, you're going to love it. <laughs> well, if it's anything like the last few games I've had, it's going to be hard as nails, isn't it? Anyway, Mooncrester. I know it's an oldie. Uh, I've not played it if at all, for years. Uh, so it'd be an interesting one to revisit. So, Stevie Robbo, let's go give this a go, my friend. Moon Cresta. Moon Cresta, there it is. Let's see, 1980. God damn, this is an early one, mate. Trip to the Space War, Moon Cresta. Oh, I'm guessing it's a shoot em up straight away. I'll be honest, it's not one I'm au fait with, looking at this. Oof, oof, oof. Right, I'm in for a rough night, ain't I? So I'm guessing it's just shoot only. Uh, ship number two. I've got twin, twin shots on this one. Oh, he's a toughie. Proper old school shooter, this one. Oh, he's a... He was a naughty one, he was. It's sort of a Galaxian spin with rather large sort of aliens that resemble fluffy balls of something. Yes. Oh my god. It's a tough game, but it's fun. It's fun. It's what game should be about. That concludes this weekend's vlog. And I'll finish it with a, a nice Mauhu, which is what I got in, uh, um, about to say Sainsbury's. I might have bought me in Sainsbury's, but uh, I got it in McDonald's in, uh, in Spain. You choose. Do you want a Coke? Do you want what? Or, or do you want a Mauhu lager? It's 5.1% and a bloody nice lager too. And in Macca's out there, you can get that as part of your meal. So happy days to them guys. So what pickups did I get today in CEX? Mm. Happy days. Right, I got myself two games. I got myself a PS3 game. I know I went in for a PS4 game, but I've got this. Uh, let's drive out to San Francisco. Five pounds, that one. 
uh, driving from uh, San Francisco. Uh, I spoke to some recently on the uh, another uh, pickup video, and they said this is a really good game. Get it? So I thought it's a fiver. It's PS3. What's not to love, guys? So I picked that one up. Of course I did. Now, before I show you this next one, which is the PS4 game I went for, this is a shout out to Twitch British Fruits and his dad Jason. He says it really winds him up when they watch the videos and they see that the CX stickers are still on the games. So I've had to apologise. I said, I oh, will get around to moving them. I will, you know what I mean? But, hey, not today. Hang on, let's try, let's try it. Let's try it. See how quick this one moves. Because I used to, it used to be one of my Sunday rituals. Oh, it's quite an easy one, that one. Oh, they're, they're the ones that the buggers. And what I used to do is this. I'd always crack the game, and as you see, it's lovely condition, that one. It's not been read the manual and stuff. I'll make a bit of a gap in there. Actually, just pull the manual out. And I'd always stick the sticker down in there like that. And the reason being is when I come to revisit these titles in tens from ten years from now, or maybe even longer, I can open it up and I can see exactly what I paid for it. So I'll stick them in there like that. So anyway, that's the PS4 game I picked up. Uh, eight quid, that one. Was it eight quid? Oh, yeah, I'll just put it in there. Eight quid. But them stickers are not so easy to come off. Uh, but I will remove it shortly, guys, just for you. Uh, this is Formula 1 2020. Um, hey, as you know, little old Jim, Mrs. OG, love Formula 1. It's now season has concluded. So I might give this one a little play. Yeah. Let's see how easy that sticker comes off. I did a video many moons ago. Oh, look at that. Oh, I was about to say it nearly torn straight off, but look, 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 we're nearly there, guys. Oh, no. It's leaving residue. It's... Oh, well, there you go, guys. Hopefully, that'll make you a little bit happier. One there without the CEX stickers on it. So that concludes this weekend vlog, guys. It's Sunday night. A uh, little... Tip one before bed, we're another one of those martini drinks. Yeah, they're very nice. Martini espressos, whatever they are. Very, 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 very tasty indeed. Mm. Anyway, so game of the week, guys. Um, For me, I didn't do a lot of gaming this week. Not as much as I would normally do. No PS3 games, no modern consoles, nothing on that. But uh, for me, that's to be Risk, actually. Risk Online. Uh, PC, I'm sure it's available in other formats, but uh, you know what? It's free to play, and I played what about three games over the weekend. I think, uh, yeah, it's so so good, so so good. Cost you nothing, and uh, you know what I mean? It's cheap as chips. Happy days on that one, mate. Get jump on board, honestly. Really, really good game. If you're in a risk, do give it a play now. In the week, me and Mrs. OG went to see uh, the film Napoleon. Now, out of interest, I want to gather your thoughts on this because we both loved it. We thought it was an amazing film. Really, really, really enjoyed it. But friends of mine have speak, uh, been to see it since and they said, it was all right, a bit meh. So they don't rate it at all. So if you've seen Napoleon, guys, drop in the comments. Well, I've seen yay or nay. Please let me know your thoughts. Or is it just me that's found it good? I don't know. I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was a really, really good film. Anyway, guys. I've been OG Duffy. You guys have been awesome as always. And this martini espresso <laughs> is for you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, have a great week. And uh, drop me in the comments what you've been up to. Let me know. It's always good to hear. Any pickups? What video games you've been playing? What films have you been watching? Well, Ladies, guys. All the best. Cheers.